Hey guys, this will be the weekly reading for Taurus. This will be a general collective reading, so it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. This could resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements in Taurus. I do offer personal readings if you're interested in that. The information is in the description box. Taurus. What's going on with my Taurus viewers? Uh oh. Looks like you guys may be dealing with a player. You guys are cutting a player off here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag energy here, but um either this person is playing around with a uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this is you guys setting boundaries with this person, cutting this person off. There's some something happened between you and this person, a tower moment. And it caused a breakup or an ending. It caused you a lot of pain. So you're not going to let this person break your heart again. I see you setting boundaries with them, being very assertive, standing your ground here. Some of you guys, let's see here. You guys are manifesting new love. If you guys are worried about whether or not this person would get learn their lesson or they would receive karma, they're gonna get you're gonna get justice for the situation. This person is going through a lot of mental or um, internal conflict that maybe you're not aware of. But you guys are manifesting a new beginning in love here. Possibly with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or this is just signifying that this is what you guys are manifesting. Or what's coming towards you. I, I'm seeing some type of conflict here. Yeah, this person's going through it. <laughs> this person's going to be going through it feeling regretful, disappointed uh, with them, in themselves. Um, pessimistic just they could be going through a lot of issues with other conflicts in their life too this could be a part of their karma but um this situation was only going to keep you in your head keep you stuck um if this person did have a third party things aren't going well with that third party they're going to be they're going to end up single either way but I feel like this person is feeling some type of way because, or this person is going to feel some type of way when they see you in a new beginning in love. They're going to have major regrets. That's probably their karma. Mm. And they're going to see you doing very well for yourself since they that since you separate yourself from them. Yeah. You're taking your power back from this person. It's like, I feel like maybe at some point you guys saw long-term happiness with this person. But the divine was like, nope. Not the right path for you. Not the right direction. This needs to come to an end. This is going to be a burden for you. This is going to cause you a lot of stress. All right. So now, since you guys have released this, this new passionate beginning is manifesting for you. This solid commitment is manifesting for you. Possibly marriage for some of you. Mm, this person's karma is seeing you with somebody else. Realizing what they lost. Being feeling jealous well all right so let's see what else is going on here what else is going on come on that like once you cut this person off you make these drastic changes in your life you're going to feel so much more whole you're going to be so happy you're going to be smiling more 
guys, this person was on the verge of confessing that they had a third party anyways. Or there's somebody in their life causing chaos, I'm telling you. This could be somebody that they have a history with. This could be somebody that they have children with. Or somebody that has kids. Somebody that may be even in your inner circle, guys. This could be somebody in your friend group. But it looks like this is somebody that they're tied to by finances. Somebody that they owe money to. Yeah. Possibly. They're, they're, they're going to be watching you on social media, though. But they they don't they don't have the option to come towards you anymore. They're frustrated with themselves. They feel like they are they, they they feel trapped now because they know that they that they've lost their chance with you. This person may still try to come back into your life, but it looks like this person's only going to be able to. This person is going to be whoever this person is. They're very lustful, and they're going to try to offer you something. But you guys see right through this person. This situation's done. But this person's going to get payback, all right? And I don't think this is anything that you guys are really doing to them. You know, it's just karma. Well, <laughs> all right. So let's do evolution of the soul. And some of you are like, why did I have to go through this situation with this person? Spirit's saying that this is something that you had to go through. This situation was meant, this is probably a karmic that you guys are dealing with. And they're saying that you had to, um, this was not something that you could skip. This situation was meant to teach you a valuable lesson. Spirit's saying that you, if you guys have been worried about your career, you guys are going to be very successful in your careers. All right. Or at this time, work can give you a sense of purpose. I feel like you guys are going to be spending, spending. You guys are going to be ascending spiritually as well, growing spiritually. Spirit says a lot of you guys were destined to be spiritual elders. And I feel like you guys, this is also a lesson in discerning between truth and illusion. We have spirituality on the back of the deck. So yeah, you guys are going to be, this is like a part of your spiritual journey. You guys are going to be becoming more spiritually aware, more focused on your spirituality and your own growth. And you guys are going to be walking down your spiritual path now once you release this person. And I feel like coming into a spiritual union possibly with this new person. All right, guys. So um, we're going to do channeled messages. One second. It's going to be like a pick a card reading. Um, I'm going to draw three cards. Pause the video. Meditate. the cards you feel drawn to the most and then unpause the video for your channel message person message from your person all right there's group number one group number two oh that's two cards one card please group number two and group number three All right, go ahead and pause the video if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and start reading the channel messages, starting with group number one. I want to have it all. I want to have a big family with you and celebrate our love with all of our family and friends together. You are very important to me and I see an amazing future with you. Group number two. I have a checkered past. I have not been completely honest with you about all of the things I've done. And I am ashamed of myself. And I am ashamed of I am ashamed of myself and I don't like to talk about it. So please stop asking until I'm ready to talk about it. 
I am worried you will judge me. And group number three. I don't really know what I want. Every day I wake up and I want to do different things and take on the world in a different way. I change my mind all the time and I know I'm inconsistent. You can't really rely on me because I can't even rely on myself. All right, guys. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading helped you. I'm not going to be extending this reading, but like I said, I do offer personal readings. If you're interested in that, the information is in the, in the description box. But if not, thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.